everyone and welcome to today's video which I'm sure as you guessed from the title is my February favourites video. Quick side note, I had intended on filming this video last week but I almost completely lost my voice and sounded ever so slightly like a man so I kind of thought it wasn't really the appropriate time to be filming this video. So this is kind of a week late so apologies for that but I am here today to show you the bits and bobs that I've been loving using throughout the month of February. Also I've just noticed that this, this top looks ever so slightly weird on camera but just in case you're wondering what this weird black thing is that's hanging down here it's actually kind of a bow that sits on the shoulder. So just wanted to get that out of the way I think because my hair kind of covers it it looks a little bit odd but it kind of looks better in person hopefully but yeah I just wanted to let you know what that was in case you're wondering anyway let's get started with the video so the first two things that I wanted to share with you guys are actually two items of skincare which is quite unusual for me because with skincare I am one of these people that if I find something that I like I tend to stick with it I don't really deviate too much with my skincare routine uh, mainly because I get a bit worried that if I change it my skin might freak out and then I'll be covered in spots or something but I actually have been trying a couple of new things recently and my skin has actually been responding really well to these bits so I wanted to share them with you because I think these bits are really really lovely and I would definitely definitely recommend them my first product is a super super luxurious one and obviously this brand is definitely kind of at the higher end of the price point in terms of skincare and it's by La Mer and it is called the Cleansing Micellar or Micellar Water. Now I understand that paying quite a lot of money for a product of this type wouldn't be for everyone and I really just purchased this because I get on very well with micellar waters and or micellar I'm never sure which way to say it on adverts you hear them saying micellar water so let's go with that micellar water anyway um, so I purchased this because I do get on very well with other brands in the past I've just used the really kind of basic drugstore one so the simple one or the Garnier one and my skin has really really enjoyed those but I saw this and really wanted to try a more premium micellar water and I was slightly concerned because obviously spending a lot of money on a product like this makes me a bit nervous because I think I really hope this actually does something for that amount of money and I can honestly say that this product is beautiful. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the drugstore versions and I still really enjoy those and I would repurchase those and use those but this one you can definitely tell is a luxury product. For me it is a step up in the micellar water world and I have been loving using this. It smells absolutely divine. I find that when I put it on my skin to remove my makeup, one, it removes makeup beautifully and very, very easily. The smell is just so fresh and I genuinely feel like my skin just feels cleaner than ever when I use this product. The smell, like I said, is just very refreshing. And the actual feel of it on your skin is very cooling, very refreshing, takes makeup off beautifully. I genuinely think this is a beautiful product and I have actually found that my skin has been almost clear of spots since using this. I don't get that many spots but I do get the occasional kind of breakout, generally kind of the hormonal breakout type of deal. And I found since using this I may have had kind of the odd spot here and there but generally my skin has been really really clear and I do think that that is down to using this product because I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin since using this so though it is pricey I genuinely think this is a fantastic product I really really love it and I would be tempted to repurchase it because my skin has been thoroughly enjoying it so that's my first skincare product that I've been absolutely loving in February the second product that I've been loving is one that I know a lot of people talk about and a lot of people really love this product this is the Chanel eye makeup remover and as you can see there's hardly any left I'm almost out and again this is definitely definitely one that I would repurchase because I have really really quite sensitive eyes and I have found that I've used eye makeup removers in the past that have just made my eyes sort of quite sore and just really generally irritated them and this one doesn't do that 
at all. I get no adverse effects from using this. It's really, really gentle on your eyes. Removes eye makeup really effectively. And actually, a little of it goes quite a long way. You can use this for eyes and lips, which is also a bonus, because I know some of them you shouldn't use on your lips but this one is a dual product you can use it on both and I have to say I don't normally love the kind of slightly more oily eye makeup removers but this one is great and it doesn't leave any horrible kind of residues on your eyes it's just very gentle a really really great eye makeup remover absolutely love it my next favorite is a perfume and this is from the Armani Privé collection and I can't pronounce the name of this, so what I'll do is insert a close-up of it so you can see exactly what it's called, because I don't even want to attempt to pronounce this because I know I'll get it wrong. But honestly, this perfume is beautiful. I get a lot of people commenting on it when I wear it. It's super, super feminine, and I've actually pulled up kind of a description of it so that I can give you guys an idea of kind of the notes that are included in this perfume in case you were wondering what it smelt like. And so it says that this scent opens with notes of juicy mandarin, pink pepper and raspberry with floral base notes of peony enhanced with S's of rose, amber, musk and patchouli. So as you can probably tell by all those notes, this is such a beautifully feminine scent. It is in the higher price point because it is from their kind of private, more exclusive collection. But I would genuinely recommend this if you're looking for a very, very pretty, feminine, beautiful fragrance. It lasts really nicely once you spray it. You kind of don't have to spray too much. So as you can see, it looks like I've hardly used any because there's still absolutely loads left. Only a tiny bit has gone. But that's because you really don't have to spray too much. A little goes a very long way, which is obviously great for a perfume which is of a higher price point. It is an eau de toilette. I'm not sure. I don't think they do an eau de parfum. But, but actually the eau de toilette for me does give you enough of the scent and it sits really nicely on your skin and it does last really well so this perfume is definitely the one that I've been reaching for a lot recently and I also think that this scent is the perfect kind of spring scent I know I've been wearing it sort of in the winter months as well but for me this is definitely definitely a beautiful scent for spring so I'd highly recommend it if you're thinking of getting a special perfume for this time of the year this really is beautiful I'd totally recommend it I love 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 it so my next favorite has got to be one of the Givenchy Rouge into the vinyl lipsticks. First of all, clearly, as you can see, the packaging is just beautiful. You just kind of pull the end like that and it comes out. It, it, it's just stunning, the packaging of these. But mainly, the product itself, I have been loving this product. I have a couple of these, actually. I've got one that's much more pinky toned. This one's number two, Beige Indecent, which is actually the colour I'm wearing right now. And this is probably one of the most comfortable lipsticks that I've used in a very long time. These are super moisturising. I believe they have rose oil in them, which probably helps with the moisturising factor. They feel beautifully soft when you actually apply them and they give a lovely shine. I'm not saying they're a type of lipstick that lasts a really long time, you do have to keep reapplying it, but for me it's worth it because once you have applied it, it's such a beautiful, beautiful product. It's such an easy lipstick to apply and feels soft and smoothing and moisturising on your lips, so a very, very comfortable everyday lipstick. Love it. My next favourite, which I feel like I have to include, because since getting these, I have pretty much not stopped wearing them. And I'll do a close-up now so you can see what I'm talking about, because there's not much point in holding them up like this. But it is the Dior Tribal Earrings. Now, I wanted a pair of these for a really, really long time, and I have been lucky enough to have received these um, actually as gifts from my sister and my husband. So these are very, very special and I have loved wearing them so much. I really, really enjoy them. And actually with one of the pairs, I went into Dior and tried them on just so I could kind of see what they looked like. And the lady who was selling them to me was so lovely. This was in the Dior concession in Selfridges. The lady was so lovely. She was not pushy at all. She was very much like, you should definitely try these on because they're not for everyone. And sometimes, though you think you love the look of them, when you try them on, they're not necessarily for you. So 
I would definitely recommend if you're thinking about purchasing a pair of these, do try them on because obviously, like she says, they are not for everyone. And, and she said sometimes people do just look at them on and think, oh no, they really don't suit me. But I really love them. I've thoroughly enjoyed wearing them. They go with absolutely everything. I went for sort of the classic ones and then also the rose gold with the silver just because I wanted one which had two colourways and then you can mix and match the pearl ones with the rose gold and silver which is just great because then obviously you can mix and match them up with your different outfits. For me they are just a beautiful earring. They really kind of dress up an outfit as well and just add that extra something. So those for sure had to be included in my favourites video because I just can't stop wearing them, I love them. So the next thing I wanted to include is a slightly bigger item and I really wanted to include this because I genuinely think that this is one of the most practical and best bags that I have ever, ever purchased. And it is this Chanel. Now, I am not very good and I don't know the exact kind of name and model of this bag. I just remember I got this in the Chanel concession in Harrods and it was actually a nightmare to get hold of. I found it in Selfridges originally in the kind of nude beige colour which was just beyond stunning but I freaked out and panicked that what would I do if I got it dirty so the girl kindly rang round everywhere to see if there was a black one and this was the last black one left anywhere and I rushed over to Harrods and managed to get hold of it and honestly this bag is incredible. One, I really like the look of it, it looks very compact, just beautiful. I, I feel like should I do a, a separate what's in my bag video on this because I could talk about this for quite a long time. So maybe just let me know if you would like to see a separate video on this bag or maybe a separate video on some of the Chanel bags I have. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that kind of thing. But just a very brief overview of this then. So it comes with this fantastic little top handle which I actually use all the time if I just want to kind of run out the door and then it comes with the long shoulder strap as well which is the absolute perfect cross body length it just sits at the perfect place on me so I love the fact that it has both options in terms of the handles and it's in the black caviar leather with the gold but it's the champagne gold it's not the really really bright yellow gold and actually I'm more of a silver hardware person than a gold hardware person but the champagne gold is actually very soft and very pretty and you can actually wear it with silver and it it goes with silver as well so this bag is amazing it's the perfect size for me the person that kind of stuffs absolutely everything into their handbag I'm one of these people that has probably way too much in their bag but I feel like I need it all so I do tend to prefer a slightly bigger bag but this isn't too big it's just the perfect size and it's got really good sort of compartments in it it has sort of a zip pocket at the front and then the main pocket in the middle and it's just a great size I can fit all my stuff in it and I absolutely have not stopped using it and I love it it's such a practical bag but still really stylish really beautiful so obsessed with this bag it's amazing I love it so that's it those are all the bits and bobs that I wanted to share with you guys in my February favorites video I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video please do give me a very happy thumbs up if you did enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already thank you again so so much for watching and I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you again very soon in my next video take care guys bye